Jam and 107.5, Corvus number one for hip hop and throwback. Still uh, broadcasting at uh, the Disneyland Resort. My name is Geoff. Yeah, she's already starting. Uh, I was so excited when I realized I was going to get to talk to you. Stacia is here. What is your official title? I mean, I call you the drawing goddess, but oh, <laughs> what is your official title? Disney artist and historian. And it, how many uh, different Disney characters do you think you have driven or driven? <laughs> I'm just so <laughs> mesmerized. I know what you're drawing for me. That's the third person uh, infinitive <laughs> tense of drawing, right? Yeah, yes. Exactly. Well, you know, I don't know really because. There are so many Disney characters. I mean, just imagine 90 plus years going right. back to Mickey and even before Mickey Oswald and things like that. But it all depends as far as what I'm working on. If I'm drawing something that's a project and I'm working with reference material for continuity's sake mm -hmm. and things, you can draw anything. But from the top of my head, I don't know how many of them I have in here because maybe a character that I've never drawn before, I have a really good um, mental Rolodex card of in my head and some others I don't just because I didn't draw them more than once or twice for projects. So I couldn't tell you how many I've drawn. But the great thing is that I've been able to draw these characters and now do it professionally, but I've been drawing them ever since I was literally two years old. And so to be able to be part of this magic and to carry on this tradition of artistry and craftsmanship and fun has been like the greatest privilege of my life. So how many uh, artists are there that, that do these type of drawings for movies and projects and whatnot? Oh, there are tons. And, and how tons do you guys keep the, the, the what, I mean, you said continuity. Is that the right word? Do you uh -huh, use that situation? How do you guys yeah. keep the continuity between to characters To make sure that, like, say if you're doing a motion picture, you know, in, in hand animation, because we have now hand animation and computer right. animation, but in hand animation, when it is people actually drawing, and they can be drawing on paper or on a tablet, um, you have what's called a model sheet, and it's basically the construction of the characters. If you've ever done Animation Academy, which is the fun participatory show we have at our Disney California Adventure Park, I've seen it, haven't where, done it yet. Oh, wait, you actually draw. And we oh. have artists there who teach you step by step how to draw different portraits of Disney characters. And the big mystery that they break down there is that you're not drawing poof, it's a perfect character, you're drawing a circle. And then you move your pencil over, here's another circle. And then if you stack the, that one correctly, we move over and here's yet a third circle. And if you put them all together, everybody can draw a circle. But if you put them in the correct place, it can become Mickey Mouse. And so that kind of thing, the demystification of how these shapes are used in animation is something that's very handy to us as we draw because we're not drawing a character, we're drawing a geometric form mm. and that core keeps the continuity because everybody uses the same proportions and the same scale ah. and you know it helps you make sure that you have that. There are interpretive things that you can tell. If you look at the classic Disney animated features, you can see, oh, that's a scene by Milt Call. Oh, that's a scene by Ward Kimball. You can you know? see that. I can't well, see that. You, no, you probably could if he told you what to look for. Okay. The way he uses hands or the slight uh, way of speech that that the mouths make when they affect this way and it's just a, a choice thing but that's a wonderful affectation that brings home the creative personnel that Walt Disney had at his beck and call which is yet another part of Disney history if you go to our Disney California Adventure Park before you go to Animation Academy if you walk down Buena Vista Street you can see so many tributes and the names of some of these artists and little hidden gems in the architecture in the buildings, all talking about the process of animation, the people and the history behind it. And uh, you can really learn a lot, even if you don't really know quite what you're looking at, but it'll appeal to you and it'll kind of come to, to fore later on as you discover what you're doing in Animation Academy. Now, you've been doing this obviously a long time. Uh, do you do drawings for, like, do you, do you do some of the artwork for movies and motion pictures? No, or? no, that's okay. all done out of uh, our motion picture studio, gotcha. which is based at Burbank. I'm extremely pleased and proud that my entire nearly 41 year career here at Disney has that's been based. Phenomenal. I know, isn't it awful? No, but, not I mean, awful. I said phenomenal. Uh, no, I mean, but I shouldn't be telling people how old I am anymore. <laughs> you know, well, she started can, when she was two years many old. Many confess up to 90. I guess I confess up to 41 years. But well, you both look great. Thank you. Thank you. But I am so pleased that Disneyland is my hometown. And to have been a part of this beautiful park for so long, Walt's Park, the park he personally inhabited. Mm -hmm. And, you know, he had this for the first 10 years of Disneyland's existence. Walt was here almost constantly fiddling and tweaking and making sure things were beautiful and dreaming all the dreams he possibly could for this gorgeous property. And to be part of the cast that helps 
just keep it going. And not only what he had, but also continuing the same spirit of innovation yes. and adding things and plusing. Like as you might have heard, we have a brand new, extravagant, gorgeous area which will be arriving on May 31st. Was Star there something Wars new Galaxy's you guys are building Edge. here? Yes, oh. uh -huh. you know, and that's something. <laughs> It's, it's storytelling, it's immersive storytelling, which is what he was doing with Frontierland and Fantasyland. He yeah. was putting you into a castle movie or a cowboy movie, and now you'll be entering the world of Star Wars in just that same way. So it's Walt's ideas, but always infused with the new, greatest, and latest, which is just what he would have been doing. Yeah, I mean, if there was a way to keep Walt alive through this entire time, you know he'd be doing exactly what you just said. He'd be innovating and continuing to build and making the place be more and more beautiful mm -hmm. every day. And we'd present our idea, and he'd say, great, now, let's do this <laughs> on top of that. Yeah, don't change it, but let's make it bigger. Let's more, do more. More, more, more. Well, that is incredible. Stacia, I always, uh, it's always a pleasure. I know I've had a uh, chance to you know, meet you and, uh, and talk to you a bunch of times, and it just gets better and better every time. I thank you again for uh, the time and the artwork. And, and everything. Well, and I'm drawing you an art piece I see to this. take home now. We are, of course, so happily celebrating Mickey and Minnie's 90th birthday. And, you know, have you got your ears on? Yes, you generally do. Yes, yeah, so I mean, I, I took yes, my head off a little bit ago, okay. but yes. But your spiritual ears are on yes. certainly all, at all times. 24-7. That's the thing, though. You know, we're, we're celebrating this phenomenal character who's not a character so much as he's a friend. And so I thought I would send you home with a special commemorative Mickey's birthday drawing. When I was telling you the, the other drawings you've done for me in the past have made uh, their way to the Disney wall in our house. My wife is uh, decorating extraordinaire. Shout out to her. Uh, and has made my house look like a, a home and not a bachelor pad, which is great. But your, uh, yeah, your drawings have made their way into our frame to Disney wall, and they are a perfect companion to the rest of the picture. So thank you for... Uh, helping make our home uh, a little more Disney-oriented. Well, it's my pleasure, <laughs> and it helps remind you of where your friends are so you can come back to Disneyland and visit us. Always do. Well, you got to check our Instagram stories uh, as well, at jam1075, because uh, our promotion director, Diana, has been watching. Because you, you can't see this at Radio Land, but I've just been staring in awe because Stacia is sitting two feet from me drawing <laughs> Mickey Mouse and a special drawing for myself that uh, you'll have to see on Instagram stories, at jam1075. Stacia, thank you so much. My pleasure. Hurry back. Oh, I'm not leaving. <laughs> that was great. I don't think we need to do a teaser with you. That was perfect. I'm going to chop that last little bit off and use that as the tease, and we'll be good. Okay. Look at how happy Mickey is. Yeah, I think my favorite drawing I think I've ever seen you do is the upset Donald Duck. Oh, yeah. Because oh, it's yeah, just yeah, the, your right, accent right. and his you know movements and whatnot on the page, are, <laughs> they're great. A lot of people like that because they see themselves in it somehow. Right here? <laughs> but I also like the way you always describe it, and I remember this every time I see the see a picture of him, is do you want it to, you always ask, when because I think Maui has asked for that before, oh. do you do you want angry Donald Duck or do you want smiling Donald Duck, how Daisy wants him? Yes, 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 yes. That's, that's true. And usually it. it is angry, but, but that also is what put Donald on the map, yeah, really, yeah. because he was this every, every duck, every man, every duck, that lost his temper just like we kind of all wish we could get away with and people love that and in a way that's how Fantasia got made is because Donald when he made his debut in the cartoon The Wise Little Hen is playing the fat lazy neighbor what a great role that description that is but uh, who would not help the wise little hen plant her corn you know and yeah. made up really quick the excuse that he had a tummy ache oh dear oh rolling on the ground rolling around just totally lying of course but you know so that was not a rather ignominious search his career but people loved him because he was kind of acting in the mischievous way that we all kind of wish we could get away with and so more ducks more ducks and they kept making more and more appearances and making cartoons and people loved him and he'd get fan mail of course as one does write to ducks of course so Walt kind of was like well that's great but you know Mickey is our primary star and you know Walt was Mickey's voice and they had kind of this alter ego relationship too because it was Mickey that put him on the map and you know made him yeah. a success so uh, Walt said well you know that's great that the duck is successful but let's we, let's Who's Mickey back into the spotlight? Right. What can we do? So they were going to make a special exalted high budget short cartoon with Mickey in order to kind of combat this. And um, they decided to make The Sorcerer's Apprentice as a, se as a segment. Yeah. Cartoon. And it turned out so beautifully. And the collaboration with Leopold Stokowski and the Philadelphia Orchestra was so profitable. They said, this is too good just to have as a short. We should do a whole concert like this. And so Sorcerer's Apprentice sat on the shelf for a couple of years while they made the rest of Fantasia. Can I ask you a question? How do you, how do you remember things like anniversaries and birth dates and, you know, what you ate for breakfast with all that Disney knowledge <laughs> in your head? Because <laughs> well, my brain would just delete everything else. Well, I'll tell you, I'm not good with numbers. I, I can imagine. They're statistics and they're not super 
intriguing because they're kind of finite. So I'm good with lore and okay. stories and names and wordplay and things like that. Dates you can do with a chronology and things, sure. but I'm not ironclad on, on every date. But, you know, it's like if you know some sports fanatics who know every right. single... RBI stat from the World Series of 1942. Right. You know, and it's not going to really buy them much sure. nowadays, but they're thrilled and they know this, yeah. you know, and it's because it's because passionate. Can... Yeah, I'm, I'm passionate. I can not only know it, but I can use it. Yeah. It's very helpful to me. As I maybe in my time writing a book or a magazine article or speaking or doing a presentation, knowing all this stuff, and more importantly, as our late archivist, the founder of the Disney Archives, whom we just lost a couple weeks ago, Dave Smith. Oh, always okay. said, you know, he said, it's not so much knowing the fact, it's knowing precisely where to find the unimpeachable source for that fact, you know, and so that's very helpful. I learn something new every time I talk. Like, literally, I, it blows my mind, the stuff you're, you know, oh, this movie was this, and this was the start of that. I love it. Well, I gotta do something. <laughs> <laughs> now, we have the Jasmine for you. Who should the Mickey go uh, you know, the only one that doesn't have one is uh, my newest daughter. So oh. let's, let's do that with her. What's her name? Her name is Ashlyn. A -S -H so A S H L Y N N. Two S. Two S, yeah. Okay. Hi there. How are you? Mickey, the Disney writing. Look at that. Ah, the station's cool. <laughs> Magic on a paper. We put a little indication that it's Mickey's Gala 90th that we are yes. in observation of here. Now you must go through pencils so much. <laughs> well, I don't always work with pencils. It's just okay. what's easy to have out here. Sure. So. Do you do tablets and whatnot too? You? Not no? really. I don't touch a computer much at all. So it's I don't find it very intriguing or organic. I was thinking that it's you nice. Know, yeah. It's, I have no quarrel with it, but it's just not. But for somebody that came up on, you know, pencils yeah. and. Right, and there's. A, it it oh, sounds no. kind of weirdly mystical and all this, but you can't ask anybody who draws on paper. There's an intangible, unquantifiable something that you don't get out of a tablet. But, but I do enjoy watching people working on tablets because, you know, the stylus will remove and the front goes, and they're like, draw, draw, draw. And then they turn it over, stylus removes, and then they go. <laughs> And then they stop. It's that go, instinct. Oh, yeah, and then they move on. So, but then, like two minutes later, it happens again. It's great. I love it. It's pretty great. But no, I, I paint, watercolors, uh, gouache, tempera, whatever the medium is, is needful. So here's your Jasmine. Let me put Disneyland on top here, too. Yes. And have you seen the trailer? It's my girl. The new live oh, God, movie? I cannot wait. Oh, good. Keep counting down the days. Oh, hi. Nothing? <laughs> that? Since it's his birthday and all, right? And yes, Jasmine. Yes. <laughs> Daddy's favorite. No, don't blow it away. Yeah, so it's in here, but I need to get a picture of this. Oh, yes. Warm them up, so I don't want to put them in the Finish the lettering here. 